this is H.C. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Terranigma! We could head over to tower number five, but I just wanted to show you, got another little hidden area here. Just like the one above tower number three, but we can't do anything there quite yet. We gotta get through tower number five first, so let's head on over there then. And open sesame! There we go. Now well, hopefully this one's just as easy as all the other ones. What the? I'm immobilized. Oh, Guardian, uh, hey, can you uh, help me out here? Whoa! How am I supposed to get in there? Well, we got to do something with that crystal thread first. So let's head back to Krista over there. I could just edit out walking all the way back there, but the world map music is just that good. So, I'm going to take my sweet time, viewers. Some of you were saying that I'm making this look a lot easier than it actually is. Well, or while I'm making it look easy, that's because I'm making it look easier than it actually is. So, yeah, don't worry about that. Uh, it actually is pretty easy, the first chapter, but later on it'll get more difficult. So we got that crystal thread back at Tower 4 there. So, what do we do with that? We gotta give that to Al here. Oh, well, yeah, crystal thread for Krista and uh, girl under the crystal blue. So there you go. Sure, sounds like a plan. All right. Uh, can I have that cape now? What do you mean by tomorrow? Oh, I actually have to go to an inn and rest up. Okay. It's not like the water flying cloth in Dragon Warrior 2. Yeah, where they make... I think the way you have to trigger that one is you gotta save, and then you gotta go all the way back there to that save point. Then you gotta go all the way back to the town to get it. Yeah, that was a bastard move on their part. Well, I'll do that one sooner or later, viewers. Okay, yeah, let's rest up here. There we go. Now we get nice happy music when we go to sleep. But of course, as we all know, because we are trying to save the world, we are insomniacs. Absolutely. Let's see what's going on. <laughs> I don't know why. Just a guy sleeping on the floor. <laughs> That's a double entendre there. Just a guy sleeping on the floor with no clothes on just seems amusing to me. And they've left the stove running. That's great. Burn the house down while you're at it. What's going on here? Yeah, yeah, we gotta go all the way up here. Don't mind the people that are frozen outside. No one says anything about that. Hey, how's it going? Uh, Al? Can I talk to you? Well, if the bad guys are praying against me, then, then what? Can you outpray them? We'll find out. How's it going, Al? Hey. No one else is around. Could we have some music? What is that thing on the table there? Ah, there we go. Well, yeah, I'm trying to save the world. Got the weight of the world on my shoulders. Or something like that. I tried. I fell out of the bed, apparently. Oh, well, I just want to go to the Five Towers, revive the continents, and come home. That's it. No, of course not. But thou must. Yeah, I just went outside, that's all. It's not that big. I like the music here. I like the whole music for this game. They did a great job with this. I know I keep on saying that, but... There we go. Yeah, I know, you keep telling me that. Okay. I guess we gotta get out of here then. Okay, well I think that's everything we need to do there, so let's rest up again, and then hopefully we'll get that cape. I don't know what good it'll do for us, but, you know, I mean, Hero has to have his cape, 
Have you ever worn a cape in public, viewers? I'm just curious. I haven't. I mean, besides Halloween, obviously. I, I did, I remember one time there was like a, a Pro Tour Qualifier Magic the Gathering tournament I went to, and it was on Halloween. That was a pretty wild ride. Apparently, Ark had one too while he was sleeping there. Hey, how's it going? Oh, yeah. I remember that tournament of the guy I played in the first round was Tigger. He was dressed up in a Tigger suit. And he was sweating his balls off. <laughs> yeah, great idea, guys. Hey, how's it going? All right, well, there we go. By the way, Tigger kicked my ass, too, in that tournament. He was a good player. All right, well, there we go. We got Elf's Cape. No capital on cape, just the name. Or just her name, but yeah. Let's see how good that thing is. Okay, sounds like a plan. But yeah, what is that thing on the table there? Uh, I can't even begin to think of what the hell that thing is. Is that like one of those Newton things or whatever? I don't know. But anyway, yeah, so you got the armor on the outside with those little boxes. But then you got these four on the inside. These are the four special armors in the game. The first one is L's cape. It's a little stronger, so sure, let's equip that. I don't know what special abilities it has. It doesn't tell me, but we'll find out today. So let's head on over to uh, tower number five then. We're all rested up and ready to go then. Oh, you know, maybe I should buy some more Manta Racks. Well, I'll do that off screen. Actually, you know what? Uh, nah, I don't want to buy any more uh, fire rings or ice rings. Uh, really, I'm not going to be using that anymore anyway. So, yeah, let's just head on over to tower number five. I'm going to try and clear out all of my rings so that way I can save my Mandrox for the really good stuff. Which we'll be able to get pretty soon. Not too soon, but soon enough. Soon enough. So let's try going into tower number five again. This time with more feelings. From L, with her cape. You have to have that equipped here. Uh-oh. I'm still immobilized. Hey, hey. Oh, well, I can use my weapon this time. Is that what I'm supposed to do? Oh, no, no, it's just the cape. Yay, we made it through. Yeah, that was a real bastard move on their part to uh, hide the item in tower number four like that to uh, get through this place. Yeah, I didn't like that at all. Ha! Die. There we go. Hmm, I remember this area being a little harder. It's pretty straightforward, though. So let's see. Whoa! Crap. Black! Hey, get back here! I want your experience points. There we go. Let's head on up here, then. Huh, wonder where that goes. Whoa! Nuts. Let's try that again. Okay, I thought I'd spare you me walking back here again. Oh, hey, it's that guardian dude. What'd you throw me out for, anyway? Alright, it's time for the final battle of the game. There you go. Well, that was pretty fast. Relatively short game for such a high amount of memory. And boss time! Alright, the first real boss of the game. Hey, can, can I move, please? Can I? Huh? There we go. Okay, first things first, you gotta destroy its arms, so I like using the uh, rushing attack against them. So rush them, then block once it retracts its claws, then rush again, back off, and he'll start running towards you. If he backs you, uh, uh, backs you up too much, he'll start destroying those uh, lamps you see on the left and the right there. Crap. Got it. Ha! Okay, back, get out of the way, get out of the way. Okay, now back him up against the wall. Now, there's two things you can do against this guy. You can rush him if you're not comfortable, or if you are comfortable with it, use your slicer attack, which is a little faster, and then just slice at him back and forth. Sometimes his tail will try to attack you, but, uh, well, this time he's not. So, there you are. So, yeah, just go back and forth. Sometimes you'll get multiple hits per slice that you go up, use on him. 
And once you destroy the mask on his head, or whatever the hell that thing is, I don't know, then he really doesn't attack you that much, so... I am making this look a lot easier than it actually is, viewers, so, uh... Yeah, if you're having a hard time with it, well, just practice a little more, and, well, you'll get it eventually. Yay! We defeated the boss, or whatever its name was, I don't know. The Shadow Keeper, there we go. Okay, so, which bot or which continent do we resurrect for defeating the Shadow Keeper? Find out next time on Let's Play Terranigma! This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day.